Thanks, will it? It was a little song called The Hills of Mexico. A little bit of pre tunication for the show, show here today at reallibertymedia.com. I'm your host, Vinny, Vince Neasley. And today is silence. It's a war of conscience. And there was a man. There's been many men. But I am one amongst the many that come to say no. Not today. The government will give an account for their actions. They're not our masters, but servants to we the people. There's a lot of uh, play on words through here that I want to tie together. It's uh, the state hides its shameless face. And we see crimes of the state. There's a place. It's the hiding place. It's buried deep inside. It's hidden. Maybe not. Truth lies within the heart of every man's soul. And everyone has a point, even if you don't get it. Thanks, Donna. You are what you do and not what you'll say you do. And I say be the media. Take back your future. Journalism, truth that is, needs defense. So be the media. This is what matters. The Ponder Gander, it's a radio writing series. Uh, this is, uh, well, fourth week of uh, 15. Uh, right here on rlmradio.xyz if you want to uh, tune in and down the line here and come in live noon central that's 1 p.m. eastern time at reallibertymedia.com rlmradio.xyz so explore more and join the journey this is a fact finding mission for a just war it's in progress but I can tell you this what Anti told me in chat there thank you Anti uh, repeating the same thing twice and expecting different results takes on a whole new meaning when nobody will even know what anybody ever did. Yeah, thanks. This is uh, something, the hiding place? Well, to hero, victim, and villain alert, a message to tyranny. The hiding place, buried deep or hidden in a hole, truthless lies within every man's soul. Here's something. Uh, thanks, Ron, friend from uh, Vegas Trial. Uh, this was a two-part, and it was very interesting. The clock of life is wound at once, and no man has the power to tell just when the hands will stop, at late or early hour. Now is the only time you own. Live, love, toil with a will. Place no faith in time, for the clock may soon be still. That's easy, Eddie. He is a lawyer of Al Capone. Very interesting tie-in story. Uh... What was his last name? O'Hare. So up there in Illinois, Chicago, the Windy City, O'Hare International Airport. It was uh, Easy Eddie's son that it was named for. And he, I think he was the first ace, Medal of Honor winner, World War II a fighter. That's a longer story and uh, one to be told at another time. We got sounds in imperfection. The smallest and seemingly uh, most insignificant details of life contain meaning we are largely, that we largely look past, whether we mean to or not. Steve T. thinks that's uh, him beating on a piano. Uh, I liked it. I really did. Thanks, Steve. Uh, P.S. He says, uh, he paints the lily of the field, perfumes each little bell. If he so loves the little flowers... I know he loves me well. That was a quote from a, a poem, a song written by Maria Strub and delivered to him by a lily of the field. Thank you most kindly indeed. But let it be hidden in the... <coughs> let me try again. Let it be hidden of the heart in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament, ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of God a great price. <coughs> Strange and impressive associations arise in the mind of man from the new world who speaks before this august body in this ancient institution of learning. Before his eyes pass the shadows of mighty kings and warlike nobles, of great masters of law and theology, through the shining dust of the dead centuries, he sees crowded figures that tell of the power and learning and splendor of times gone by. And he sees also the innumerable host of humble students to whom clerkship meant and that emancipation, to whom it was well nigh the only outlet from the dark places of the Middle Ages. <clears throat> Continuing. 
It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms? The great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who, at the best, in the end of the triumph of high achievement, and who, at the worst, if he fails, at least, while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Teddy Roosevelt. It's a speech from uh, Man in uh, Man in the Man in the Arena. Uh, I've, it's linked here in the radio blog here all this will be <clears throat> well this ought to be over there for Flash and Circle pretty close to him anyways Wilhelmina from uh, The Hague she died in 1862 no I think she has died wait 1962 <laughs> she was born in 1980 sorry my bad uh so anyway, she gives a speech, and in that, she talks about the light has gone out in an onslaught of barbarism. It might not look the same, because uh, we don't actually see the invaders. But we are under occupation by crimes of the state. I've got a list here going down of... Uh, that will go not to YouTube because I'm going to stop the recording and separate that because uh, they want to silence people. And I'm going to be playing some stuff here that uh, will continue in context since I am, after all, the uh, paraphrased plagiarist. You know what? I'm missing one. Where is it at? I wanted to include. I must be down here at lower. Well, let me let me go before I do that. Well, I'm going to talk about Jeffrey Weinstein. Uh, Geneva Black has been assigning me letters to write to prisoners for a long time. This is where I s started and left off at Jeffrey Winehouse. Oh, way back a more than a year ago. Anyways, uh, failings. Uh, on August uh, the 22nd of 2012, Henry Folson, an employee of the Missouri State Highway Patrol, took the computers and cameras of Jeffrey Winehouse, a Missouri-based journalist. A couple of weeks later at a prearranged meeting, Folsom shot Winehouse multiple times, claiming that he was in fear of his safety. Clips from many raw videos were incorporated in this video, which is included from uh, copblock.org, uh, titled The Jeffrey Winehouse Overview. To watch a raw and unedited uh, video, you'll you'll have to see that, and it is linked there. Uh, also, that will be coming in the not for YouTube is uh, some uh, links, uh, most especially from uh, Rudy Davis. Thanks for uh, all that uh, you do, and I've uh, been finding your resources to be quite quite useful, very informative. Um, let me go see what. Grimners are telling me there. Cop, yeah, cop block. Thank you. Um, back over here. Uh, also here, yes. Where is that? Rudy Davis and Aaron. Thanks. And uh, we have a uh, that I join into uh, on uh, Saturday mornings a a conference call where we uh, talk about encouragement and uh, these prisoners. A little further down here, we'll talk about the CMUs. There's different ways that uh, people are being silenced. Uh, in Rudy's case, uh, taking down videos. So uh, for the uh, Not For YouTube version, which will continue, um, it will include these. This, who knows when they're going to just take him down altogether. Any, anybody that has such a, uh, a prominent voice in speaking out against the tyranny they target and 
That's what I'm trying to do here is to take a look at this, how we engage and not sacrifice. I've talked about this for quite some time to guard your words. Um, what you have the right to will mean nothing by the wretched afflictions put upon you. Uh, secrecy, transparency, and accountability in the federal prison system doesn't exist. That's uh, talking about the ICUs. This is uh, an article here. I have to open it up to remember to see, but it's here in the radio log. Uh, it talks about the isolation units that have been shrouded in secrecy since their inception. CMUs were created without public knowledge and without the opportunity for the public to comment as required by law. In 2010, the BOP, the Bureau of Prisons, and has attempted to redress this violation by, three years after the fact, finally disclosing uh, CMU policy for public comment. Years later, in 2015, the Bureau finally issued a regulation codifying CMU policies and uh, practices. <coughs> Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Uh. Okay, this, can you hear me? Test? Crap. Oh no. How long was I made it? Okay, so I'm on now. Dang, I gotta back up. I don't have. Well, I won't because it's in the recording, so it'll go on down. Uh, I hate when I do that. I, I coughed. I guess, and didn't uncough the button. It is. It is their wretched afflictions. It'll be uh, talking about the CMU uh, in the podcast. Maybe I should go back. So I think we left off somewhere about probably Rudy Davis. Is that correct? Let me go back to chat. Donna did. Uh, it's not in the recording. Shoot. Can you hear me? Let me get a run at this here. I'm on, right? Okay, now. So I guess I could look at my meter over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. One. Yeah. So I guess I'm recording now. All right. Well, I've got to go back here and start again there at some point. And I'll do that. Waiting waiting for a response. You can hear me though, right? Hello? I'm going to assume we can. Okay. Hi, Donna. Thank you. Thank you, Grimmer. Alright, let me go back and start over then up here a little ways. Uh... It is what it is. I don't know. Hey, do you remember where I left off where you heard me at? Maybe that would help. Where did I leave off at? Rudy and uh, Rudy and Aaron? I think Donna must have heard that part. Yeah, okay. I guess so. Uh, it'd be a good <laughs> a good chance of uh, practicing Eddie. Uh Eddie edit edit. Silenced. When I went silent, that helps. <laughs> Tell me, Donna, where was I? Did I I did talk about Rudy and uh thanking them. Yes, thank you very much. All right. So I'll try to finger out where I was at then from that point. Uh, it must have been talking about Jeffrey Winehouse, I think, then. And I think I must have coughed somewhere right in here. <clears throat> so Jeffrey Winehouse is where I'm going to... No, it was further down, wasn't it? Because I was yeah, thinking of wretched afflictions. That's where I'm going to start at. 
again, <clears throat> I'll start right here. Thanks, Rudy and Aaron, for the work you do. I depend on uh, the information you provide. Being silenced, uh, yeah, just arbitrarily take all your work away, all the history. Burning books, I'm going to go back over to Facebook and share some of my uh, pre-show uh, connecting the voices that, that it may be and the ideas. But I'm going to start again with wretched afflictions. It's uh, secrecy, uh, transparency, and accountability in the federal prison system. I'm talking about CMUs and uh, isolation units. <coughs> People like Fran uh, Schaefer Cox. <coughs> Others. How people are killed or in prison. Uh, comply or die. <coughs> so let's uh, let's read this article from uh, this place, which is linked in the radio log blog here. Uh, These isolation units have been shrouded in secrecy since their inception. CMUs were created without public knowledge and without the opportunity for public uh, to comment, as required by law. In 2020 or 2010, the BOP attempted to redress this violation by three years after the fact, finally disclosing CMU policy for public comment. Years later, in 2015, the Bureau finally issued a regulation of codifying or codifying CMU, I like it better to say codifying, yeah, CMU uh, policy and practices. Uh, there's a federal lawsuit challenging the policies and conditions at the two CMUs, uh, as well as the circumstances under which they were established. In March 2010, 2010 <clears throat> the Center for Constitutional Rights filed the case in the U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. on behalf of several prisoners and their family members. The defendants in the lawsuit include the Attorney General, the Director of the BOP, and the Associate Director of the Correctional Programs Division of the BOP. Some inmates at the CMU have pushed back a federal lawsuit brought by three inmates contend that their designation to CMU violated their due process rights. One appellant uh, also uh, alleges his continued CMU placement was in retaliation for protected speech and a violation of the First Amendment. The BOP has not been as transparent about how such designations are even determined. In fact, CMUs were opened before the BOP established any written designation uh, criteria. That's uh, from Life Inside. <clears throat> there's a furious rage uh, when there's no wrong done. We must choose law. Living beyond uh, hate, not returning evil for evil. In our hearts, we're free. There's no pit deep enough that we cannot be found. Uh, I take, took that from uh, this movie, uh, The Hiding Place, uh, Corey Ten Boom. Now, this uh, hiding place, it's... Uh, it's a multi-use term here in this uh, radio broadcast of discussing tr crimes of the state. Voices silenced. Yes, this is silenced. American distant silence. Voices silenced. What is justice? A code? A moral fabric? What sins set aside? Justice should never be personal. Is your confidence gone? You don't need to know a uh, weatherman to know which way the wind blows. Really? Some people it seems do, which uh, I'm going to back up over here to this uh, Facebook page of mine and look at some of that stuff that I put over there. But that right there was uh, what I took out of Plague of the Undead, and I think it very fitting from uh, Joe McKinney. You know what? We're trading one form of slavery for another. That's what Clive and Bet Bundy said. Buy the ticket, take the ride. Yeah, leave in Las Vegas. When uh, when I'm going to come back around, I'm going to close out some uh, music. But uh, let me go over here and catch uh, up on this part. And there was a lot of responses going on here, and I thought that uh, kind of funny. <laughs> I had to give an L O N, uh, but I'll get to that. In silence, the American Dissonance and Radio Writing Series right now. I'm your host Vincent Easley at RealLibertyMedia.com. We're about halfway through the hour. I guess it uh, get a lot of extra time out of this when I redo it because I muted didn't. Hey, have you ever been told you don't know how to shut up? 
Well, that was a great segue. Yeah, me too. Um, this is a a meme thingy, majiggy. <laughs> I'm meme used. Thousands of FBI employees monitoring Bundy supporters. I can share that some time ago. Maybe they'll learn something. Yeah, that was uh, for March 15, 2018. But of course, the uh, Bundy Ranch standoff by the federal agency is uh, of the uh, Department of Interior carried out that standoff while uh, many great Americans stood in the gap. Yeah, stand proud. I'll guarantee I've educated one or two face to face and they have notice and my witness continues against crimes of the state. Your stand is your statement. Neil, what a good guy here, a friend of mine I met in, uh, he was at the Oregon trials and acquitted. He says, I've had the same thought. By eavesdropping on us, these FBI minions are getting an education. I told the FBI guys who arrested me, if they wanted to find out where we're coming from, they should listen to Chris Ann Hall and uh, this other fella and a lot of uh, uh, good all their spine did them. We were all found not guilty. Hey, Mama Bear. Uh, if you've... Uh, if you're not tuned in, I'll I'll uh, you out there. I met uh, Mama Bear in uh, Bunkerville 2014. She was in the uh, uh, a witness for the feds out there in Oregon standoff, which uh, her testimony acquitted uh, help to anyways. These fellows up there, the whole bunch of Mammon Bundy and Shauna Cox, Neil Wolf there. There's a big long list, and they split the trials. Um, Jason Patrick. He got screwed on that deal. Good friend. Um, Terry says, uh, I found them to be quite paranoid. If you read them, the Constitution, they probably twist it into some kind of paranoid conspiracy, conspiracy theory. They are incapable of understanding uh, basic words. Hey, Donna, I see you right there. Uh, spent uh, much time just reci reciting the Constitution when home alone because... I knew there were a case in the place and recording us during the situation with the Browns. Not surprised. Yeah, how many uh, alphabet agencies are involved, right? Me neither. <laughs> Here's where I, I gave a one of them tongues out uh, laughing thing here to one of the responses. I'll read you that in a minute. But here's the Grinch flying the bird. Uh, <laughs> hey, JJ James Freeland, big shout out to you. The restless middle finger syndrome. God, that cancel culture, right? They canceled your feelings. They canceled your thoughts. They canceled the Dr. Seuss books that you bought. We'll cancel your car. <laughs> we'll <ca> <coughs> stop. Okay. We'll cancel your culture and history, they said. They even canceled poor Mr. Potato Head. They'll cancel your clothes and the shoes that you wear. They'll cancel your, op cancel your opinions. <laughs> and the style of your hair. You warriors of justice, I ask you please, stop trying to cancel the air that I breathe, for I live in America, the land of the free, and one thing is certain, you won't cancel me. The paraphrase plagiarist, me moosed pundergander. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> oh boy, this got some uh, snowflakes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> who said that? <laughs> Man, you're acting like serious snowflake. Like a serious snowflake. I'm not sure who he was talking about. Me? Him? <laughs> Terry came back. Hey, Jim. They didn't cancel anything, Brent. <laughs> you don't seem to have a problem when the conservatives were attacking, banning, and canceling everything back in the 90s, late 80s, or did you just for, for conveniently forget that part of history? I did not. I did not. And you added to that, mister, because... That was not in there when I first read that, Mr. Easley. Oh, <laughs> that's funny, though. Uh, Terry, Mom Bear says, back in the 80s and the 90s was before the Tea Party. We accomplished a lot restoring the Constitution, a lot more than the Democrats have by destroying the Constitution. The only way the Democrats have a hope for winning is an election to cheat. Uh, from Red California, and she's left California or California to Arkansas. Yeah, we, uh, Mama Bear and I have met 
or in uh, Nevada and Bunkerville and Vegas and in Arkansas as well. Charles Ingley Jr. says, fist bump, what's that butterfly? Fist bump butterfly. <laughs> I've seen that in a, a face or a, a YouTube ad. The Sheen, the poppin' son, Charlie and his daddy. <laughs> Ah, that's funny. That is funny. <clears throat> but seriously, silence. It's a war of conscience. And I'm amongst the many that uh, come to say, no, not today. The government will give account for their actions. They're not master, but servant to we the people. It's a hiding place. It's buried deep or hidden in a hole. Truth lies within the heart of every man's soul. American dissonance. That's why I'm doing this radio writing series. Stand as a witness. I continue to stand. This is my statement. Um, yo, here's the uh, here's the pic I posted with the the king and his whoever consort up there. Oh, you don't need to fight them. You just need to convince the pitchfork people that the torch people want to take away their pitchforks. Seems to have been working. Uh, Hassan Zahir. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for that share. I, I took his picture and used it. Uh, a strange and impressive association rise in the man of a, in the mind of a man. I think I included this earlier on, uh, but this was from Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, indeed, uh, strange and impressive associations that do rise in the mind of man. We stand to give a. Uh, a account and a witness a statement against the wrongs jim you may think that uh, i'm some trump republican but uh far from it apolitical completely uh i, I see no faith in the federal system it, it's a scam the whole thing it's rigged yeah and if you uh, for those who can't see that this was a rig uh, I'm even even more obviously rigged election. You gotta think uh, you're taking a blind look. So it's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. Eyes there, standing in the gap, and I still stand. Whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly. Who errs, who comes short again and again. That's why I'd like to pre tunicate sing. Uh, I'd be a little goofy because, ha, that's the got to do it again and again. But I ain't going to let it stop me. Because there is no effort without error and shortcomings. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause? Who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least he has failed by daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Be that man in the arena. Teddy Roosevelt, he said all that. Now he's old. Way old. My food says he's born in New York. And he is a governor as well. I'm running on down here, but I'd like to say be a part of something bigger than yourself. When you're ready to go to battle over every single idea or opinion, you're in a constant quagmire of squabbles and stalemates. It's hard to be powerful and, and <clears throat> excuse me, it's hard to be powerful and impossible to be peaceful. You need to stand for what's right, though. But how much do you really need to go into splitting hairs about certain things? Because, as my screen shows me right here, it is in black and white. Even when people try to color it. When the alarm sounds, the fire brigade doesn't play Hamlet, do they, Neil? Shout out. Shout out for uh, the work that Donna and Harry are doing over there. Uh, in the network, who wants free promotion for their business or their created content? Drop your links below. Check my timeline. And I passed by here uh, last week. We talked about Joshua Martinez having been arrested. 
got to learn to do this in a better way. Now here's Jim Easley again. He says, I will remind you there are several retired police officers invading the Capitol building on January 6th and beating on cops. Let the legal system work and see what happens. Oh, yeah. I've seen how it happens. And pretty, pretty hard to uh, give trust to something uh, so corrupt. Thank you, Donna. Yes. Uh, love your art. If, uh, if you don't know what good art is, I can show you. Because I've seen it. Now, let's see here. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I remember. I had uh, some uh, photos that I think uh, I didn't include there that are relevant. Uh, some uh, past photos and something that goes with it, I'm pretty certain, as it spins. There it is, ducking out in Denver. The state hides its shameless face. Crimes of the state. Hashtag. This comes... From the prosecution of Bruce Doucette, Bram Thornton and I went there to uh, stand and witness in the courtroom. What a joke these guys are, man. How that whole system ro works. Just look at their names. Uh, Spear was the name of the judge. Uh, Robert, Sh uh, Sh I mean Robert Shapiro, the prosecutor. Ryan English. Remember English being the, the language of the court. And the other two girls there. And I forget the U.S. Marshal's name. He was uh, appointed from the... Uh, uh, Denver Sheriff's Department, but how they uh, they set up the prosecution of this man Bruce Doucette. Uh I tried to talk to the FBI guy, and uh, Shapiro jumps in there and cuts that down. But they did, they did all turn just like the work working together team that they are here. They all moved in unison. Let's picture. I I'll have to let me just uh, let me see here. I'm going to take this over to chat where y'all can see this. I want you to get context with this as I'm talking about it. Uh, let me drop it in the, the politics 360 as well. Oh, a lot of comments going on over there. Howdy, howdy. Uh, um, yes, thank you, Chloe. I, I do believe it was rigged election. Uh, too many indiscrepancies in the mail-in voting. It was just a, it was a setup for the takedown from the beginning, and I saw it coming back. Uh, when they first started the lockdowns. I've seen how that was going to go, honestly. Um, there's that picture. <coughs> so I'll go back to it. <coughs> yeah, there they are. So I... Uh, this was uh, <coughs> waiting for the jury to come back in. So everybody's um, out for lunch. And I catch all the team out there, uh, right there on the in the square around the on the bench in the public and I say after I passed them by and I'm like two blocks away uh, I was on a mission there anyways I go back I go hey what kind of reporter I could, would I be if uh, if I didn't get a picture they said we don't want her picture taken I says really I said really says if I was go taking their picture they was going to go inside I said really they said really I said well I guess I'll see y'all inside. <laughs> snap, snap. <laughs> Lord, this is funny. Oh, Shapiro, he's ducked his head in behind. Oh, boy, they're like, a, well, he's, uh, I don't know, almost, I'd call him Neil and Bob, or one of them, the other, but <laughs> English, the special agent in charge, he uh, almost has his head ducked into the uh, trash can. The one old girl, she ducks her hair down, flips her hair in front of her face, and pulls her phone up. The girl behind her walks behind her. Uh, if her view, we're taking her view out of her face there and, and does the same with her phone. Hilarious, hilarious. And there's my trademark knuckle from my crooked hands. Yeah, I uh, listen, so there is an archive of uh, this. I called in with uh, more stories on government corruption within the just. Just uh, just us or them that is system and updates on uh, travels or their uh, lack of that was at the Lindsay Flanagan Courthouse uh, in Denver Colorado in March 20th of 2018. Now I say reporter. I said reporter. What kind of reporter would I be in if I didn't get a picture of him? Ah, uh, my my uh, distractors then like people like. Uh, Kelly Stewart, oh, why do you talk to them people and share information? I'm all about information. 
That is surreal. Um, <laughs> Fogbo, they crashed. They lost all their content. Their service, server went down. Yeah, those same people calling me uh, not a reporter. Uh, they followed along with my post here, which were several for, with Brand Thornton and myself uh, on the way to Denver and on the way back and along the way. And there, there it was, uh, uh, updates on my travels or lack thereof again. <laughs> Yes, standing in the gap. We have a responsibility to do right and do good. To stand for the uh, afflicted. Here's another one. Let's see what this is because I'm going to be as surprised as you are. Is it spinning around? Oh, I love this. I Yeah. This was under the bridge over along the Virgin River. I spent 40 days. I split it in 12 days and 28 days, which is a pretty amazing number. So 28 the lunar cycle and 12. Well, a lot could be said about the 12, but it's a picture of Swallow's Nest under the uh, the bridge here. <laughs> Silenced. Uh, even the rocks would cry out. Well, as it turns out, how do Swallows build their nest? I'll ask first. <laughs> By the mouthful, of course. Yeah. Uh, let me bring this picture to you guys, too, because I think you got to have the context of and it's funny. Well, I think it's funny. Let me post this. Hey, over here. Hi, Chloe. Thank you. Here's this picture of these swallows' nests that I took in the. Uh, it's Riverside. They call it Bunkerville. Here I'll come over here to the Real Liberty Media at RLMRadio.xyz. That's where you can find the chat. Radio player. Uh, there's so many places here at Real Liberty Media. Come check it out. Listen, if you're a freedom-loving person that would like to get your voice and speak out, we got a place for you here. Uh, some people think we're anarchists, but some people don't know what an anarchist is. Well, I'm an anarchist in Arkansas, anyways. Uh, sure am. Look, it's amazing how fast time goes when you just ramble on. Uh, by the mouthful. Oh, I can't go to that point there or run past that. I, there's a lot more context here that I want to uh, play into the recording. And I think this is where I'm going to have to stop. I only meant to do like five minutes for YouTube, but I guess I've not stolen too much content to be uh, taken down. And I hope I didn't say any bad words. Words is sure. Uh, and tell you what, maybe should I break this in two? No, because I want to cut it out. I don't want to leave it all together for bit shoot. Uh, because of YouTubery. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I think I'm gonna go. Let me look at my marker here. Uh, this is, and the reason I'm doing so is, is because of the being silenced. Uh, Rudy Davis, Lone Star 1776 on YouTube is where uh, uh, the majority of this is going to come from. There's a couple others, but this is going to make this run long, uh, and that's okay with me. And I, I might uh, stop and interject along the way. Uh, go go to the Radio Log Blog page uh, at uh, Real Liberty Media. You, get, you can find me at reallibertymedia.com forward slash author forward slash vine. Thine being for me, the Vinny, the uh, ponder gander that I be. And so, if you've listened this far, come on over and meet me there. Bit shoot. Tell YouTube to get bit. <laughs> All right, let me go over here. And I'm going to pick up. I was going to go check to get my length. That's 45 minutes, I think, in, or a little long, maybe 50 minutes. All right. I'm rolling along here, scrolling to where I want to see to start. Sounds in imperfection. That might be part of the close from Stephen Tilbert. There's a uh, man in the arena speech, Teddy Roosevelt. Link. Here is, uh, I'm going to skip uh, this, but this was a man I meant to include, Richard Michael Simikin. Uh, welcome party and before his rearrest and death in prison. I think I think I might just end up running out to an hour here and then uh for the full length version that 
might be acceptable to YouTube. I hope they don't get mad at me saying people's names. But anyways, this man got juked for uh, uh, his protest of the tax system. And I've covered uh, other other folks uh, there early on. Uh, Gordon Call, uh, Ed and Elaine uh, Davis. Um, sorry, I'm distracting myself. Daniel Riley and uh, Jason Gerhardt. Uh, and others there in prior broadcast here in this series of American Dissonance. Uh, so therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and afraid, continuing Lone Star 1776. Uh, this is a video, which uh, I'll come back to. It's a blockbuster interview with Jeffrey Winehouse about his uh, the details of his miraculous case video. He was uh, targeted for exposing uh government corruption. Jeffrey Winehouse is appealing. His, his appeal is going to the Supreme Court. Uh, this was uh, some time ago. So, uh, a few few months ago. I, I'm not sure how this habeas corpus has gone. But uh, please continue to pray for Mr. Winehouse's victory and speedy release. Uh, we must stand with, you, with Mr. Winehouse and never give up. Uh, our God is one of victory and freedom. Thanks, uh, um, JeffreyWinehouse.com, YardJubilee.com slash Jeffrey, uh, and he is uh, E R D C C is Jeffrey R Winehouse. That's W E I N H A U uh, S. D O C number is one two six one seven seven eight twenty seven twenty seven Highway K. Uh, how do you say that in Missouri? Bon Terre, B A B B O N N E T E R R E Missouri six three Six two eight. Woe unto you lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not into yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered. Legal and factual basis, a political prisoner, uh, Jeffrey Winehouse. There's an open letter to the Missouri Attorney General, uh, Josh Halley. Let me see inf more information here. You can come back if we don't get it, if I don't go all the way with this, uh, which I'd like to in the further recordings, but I don't think I've violated YouTube standards yet, and I, I believe I did uh, cover this up to the wretched afflictions. I call on heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, the blessings, the curse, so choose life in order that you may live and your descendants. Deuteronomy, you find wretched afflictions. All right. So I think I will go back up here to this list and let's get this in part of the record and recorded, which uh, it will begin with, yes, the blockbuster interview with Jeffrey Winehouse about the details of his miraculous case. I'm going to play that. I can. Uh, I think I can click here, open, or I got to go back. Good. Yeah. Open in a new tab. Thank you, Grimner. You set that up for me. And I'm going to mute up. Um, half an hour here. So this is going to be a long day, a longer day than I normally have. And uh, thanks for tuning in. If you want to catch these videos uh, a little later on down the line, they are included in the radio log blog. So uh, here I go mute. And I'll probably be back to say from the Lone Star 1776 YouTube channel titled Blockbuster Interview with Jeffrey Winehouse about the details of his miraculous case. I have uh, two more here. Uh, I think about a 20 minute one and about a 4 minute one. Uh, this is uh, I think about 5 months ago Matt Thompson provides an update on Jeffrey Winehouse case and then we're going to go to uh, uh, the last 4 minutes will be a Jeffrey Winehouse uh, advocate so, uh, their protest there and uh, we had Kelly Stewart and Roger Roach and John Lamb, Matt Thompson, of course, there. Um, I think they got a lot they got trespassed, and but anyways, let's go. Let's go get this update from Matt Thompson. Well, we'll let it spin around here, get caught up. Okay, this is a 10-minute video. So I'm looking about 15 minutes, I think, and we'll round it out. And it is 420 somewhere, by the way. 
So here she goes round and round, round and round. <laughs> there it is. This is Matt. And it'll take him a second here as he gets his stuff in the preparation of his video. And I see it. Um, wait a minute. Here it is. Sorry. Let me see how long this one spins. Oh, this is a minute and a half long. I think I got the right one. As the thingy spins round and round. I wonder if that hypnotizes you. I'm feeling very serious. My name is Matt Thompson. We're here in Franklin County today uh, protesting for wrongful convictions and uh, for all the people that are wrongfully in prison. Jeff Winehouse was known as the Bulletin Man and he criticized the government and uh, thought they were corrupt and uh, was looking into uh, suspicious activities of the sheriff of Crawford County. And he was running for coroner of Crawford County in order to conduct an, an inquest into wrongful shootings by the sheriff of Crawford County at that time. The cousin of the sheriff that Jeff was investigating, who was a lieutenant in the Missouri Highway Patrol, started a raid on Jeff's house. They took his computers so that he could no longer publish. A week or so later, they invited him into an ambush uh, where he was shot. How's it going, Jeff? Good, how are you? Why I got the gun? Why you got the gun for? Because I'm authorized. All right. Well, I'm authorized. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. You have to shoot me, man. You got to have to see that video. He was shot twice in the head and twice in the in the chest, and he should have died. But uh, miraculously, he survived through prayer and, and other things. He was in the hospital for over a month. The authorities never came to the hospital, but three weeks after he got out, they arrested him. And they convicted him of assaulting the officer who assaulted him. We need justice for Jeff Winehouse now. What's the justice? It could be you. There is a lot of corruption to unravel here, and that's why we're here today, so thank you. Thanks, Matt. Citizens for Justice video on YouTube. Wow. If you don't think that don't matter, you, uh, you're you missing something here. Uh, crime's the state. Been listening to RealLibertyMedia.com. This is the fourth in the series. Fourth week in the series of American Dissonance. This is silenced. Comply or die. When they come for you, I thought about including the uh, in this titling and subtitling on the lamb, silenced on the lamb. Uh, that took me off in a, in a completely different direction. But in the end, I say that to be the hero's story and uh, find that redemption, having learned from the past and applied to the future, in the end at rest, well done. <laughs> Good and faithful servant. So, what will you serve, right or wrong? This is this is the issue. Some people uh, aren't uh, too keen with uh, with the re religiosity, but I hey, I say to each their own. And everybody's here to seek their own path. They say God is an anarchist, but you probably won't understand that. It's free will. We have the right to self determination, and think not that we won't be judged in this world or even the next. That we have, uh, we will be held accountable for all the things that we have done, and hopefully we can find justice in this world for people like Jeffrey Winehouse. Who did Matt talk about in there? Some people that I know that have met uh, Jerry Delimus, a good man. Uh, all these people vilified, demonized in the, the mass media. Well, what do you call it over here? Is the clap? That's the cor corporate lame ass. Propaganda. Most people know it as MSM or mainstream media. We do uh, like to shine a light here and bring truth in discussion. Uh, Real Liberty Media has uh, a, a place for you if you're a freedom-loving individual and you'd like to come to air. You can get a hold of me, uh, get a hold of Grimner, our fine 
curator here of RLMRadio.xyz. I'm here uh, for the next, what I think, 11 more Fridays before uh, I set out towards my next adventure. Yeah, and I think uh, I think I want to do my next series on uh, gardening, sustainable living, uh, some power, how to make power and move water and aquaponics and all kinds of fun stuff for the living in the here and now, right now. What uh, at the forefront of our our battle, of course, is food or the feed supply that we uh, gather at the uh, the grocery stores. Well, let me just uh, let me just see here if I uh, wind this down. If I remember anything else, I want to add here. Uh, the many names there from Matt Thompson um, still locked away. All the links here in the in the radio log. I think most of them, anyways. Uh, to uh, possibly, yeah, cop block is there. You can see that whole. You need to see that video, man. If that don't, uh, if that don't move you, wow. So I want to go over here and start uh, clicking buttons first. I think I need to go to the butt. That is uh, how I'm running this radio stream out here. Thanks, Grimner, uh, being connected to RLM Radio. So I'll have to kill that and say goodbye. We'll see you next week on Friday at noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on reallibertymedia.com I guess I need to stop the recording, don't I?